Welcome to Pause for Prayer. Today's verse of the day is Revelation 21 4 KJV And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain. For the former things are passed away. This ends the reading of God's holy word. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you for reminding us of the day that all of the suffering that we experienced on this earth will be forgotten. Father, our minds can't fathom the amount of rejoicing and joyfulness that will take place on that day. Father God, in Jesus' name, help us to consider our ways that we be ready and acceptable to enter in for the promise. Give us not to forget that there is a day that we will be judged, that we not assume that our good works will cause us to make it in. Father, there is an error in teaching today that causes many to still walk around thinking that they still have time because of the error in teaching that the time is not yet. Give us to remember the parable of the ten virgins, that we not be in error thinking what we have is enough to make it in. Give us not to take you or your grace for granted, that we not misstep and miss the day when you will wipe our tears from our eyes. Give us to remember, when things get hard, that everything that we experience now will all be worth it on that day when we see your face, if we do not give up. Give us to do what it takes for us to be able to be in awe in your presence throughout eternity. Father, look on the grieving today. Give them comfort in knowing that our sadness and our hurt will fade away. And one day, if we live right, we will be able to worship your God, who deserves all the glory. Father, comfort those that are in pain today. Ease their pain while giving them to know that one day, our pain will be gone. Father, we are thankful for our life and our calling throughout the years, but our continual desire, knowing that this world is not our home, is to go home and be with you. Help us to be ready. So many of us think that we are ready, many because they are tired of the cares and concerns of this life. But give us to see if there is something standing in the way of us making it in if you were to call us into eternity today. Give us to examine ourselves for false humility, pride, self-righteousness, envying, strife, and lying. Many in the body of Christ are not even aware of the lies that we tell because our vain imagination causes us to want to believe that which others tell us is true. Give us not over to a strong delusion that would cause us to believe a lie and be damned. Deal with us today, Father, that we take off the mask off deception that causes us to put on a false presentation for others. Give us to realize that some of these things that are sorrowful unto us were sent by you to get us to correct those things within ourselves that are not pleasing to you. Give us to realize that some of the things that caused us so much pain, such as divorce, breakups, even repossessions and foreclosures, were for our deliverance so that our soul would not be lost. Give us to realize that you did not allow these things to hurt us but to make us better. Father, the sorrows, trials, and tests of this life make us feel alone at times, give us not to fall for that distraction, sent for us to disconnect from others and our assignment. Father, our most human instinct is to move toward the things that cause us to sin, when things don't go the way that we feel that they should, but give us to rely on our spiritual instincts that lead us to life and peace. Father, give us not to be content and avoiding hard stuff that you are calling us to confront in our lives. Give us to have that hard conversation that will move us forward in the assignment that you have led us to do. Give us not to be those who seek you for a million and one confirmations when you give us to do a thing while not seeking you at all when it's something that we desire to do. Give us to stop taking communion, taking upon ourselves sicknesses and afflictions when we would rather not go and talk to the person that we have an issue with. Father, reconcile relationships today. Give us to be the bigger person with our spouses, siblings, 
children, and all those we have fallen out with for whatever reason. Father, reveal to us today anything, everything that hinders us from being able to make it in. Father, comfort someone today. Give them to know that you will again set things in order for them when they do what it takes to get things right. Father, we look forward to the day that we will see your face. Help us in the meantime to be ready. In Jesus' name, Amen. We thank you for taking the time to listen to today's edition of Pause for Prayer, sponsored by the Holy Place Church. Please feel free to submit your prayer requests at holyplacechurch.org. Join us again tomorrow at 7 a.m. On behalf of our lead servant, Lydia Young, we thank you for listening to our simulcast. Have an awesome day.